Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors with James Holst. Look at that. Wow, is that an incredible fish? And the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. <laughs> With Cal Schweel. What a specimen. And Joel Nilsson. This is an absolute monster. <laughs> This is In-Depth Outdoors. All right, today on In-Depth Outdoors, I'm fishing with Andy Fiolka on the Rainy River. And of course, most of the times, when you hear the words Rainy River, you're thinking walleyes. But today, Andy and I have uh, changed gears just a little bit, and we're fishing for sturgeon. One of the great things about coming up here to Rainy River is you can get into some fish absolute prehistoric monsters and uh, we don't get to do this very often very often we're all preoccupied with the walleyes but today we're looking for fish that are measured in feet not inches so stick around i think you're gonna love today's show here he is That's a nice fish james just a little guy he's not quite done yet uh, got him Just an amazingly cool fish. Got Thank it. you. It's right out of your way. Thank you very much. Now this is just a little guy, maybe 35 inches long. We're looking for one about 65 inches long and about 50, 60 pounds heavier. But this fish is ready to go back. Bye. They're fast fish, man. One of the things we should have brought today Sturgeon towel. Absolutely. Clean myself up. Carpet will have to do. I'll get some new night crawlers back on this one. The next one's yours, buddy. Just amazing. That little tiny little tip, tip, tip. It's like a little bluegill or a sunfish. Set the hook and it about doubles that rod right over on you. Yeah, that was a two night crawler gob. Two on that one. Now let's talk rigging here. Really, nothing could be more simple. Um, anybody that's walleye fished has likely fished a Lindy rig, and what a Lindy rig is, is a sinker that slides on the line that allows a fish to take the bait and not feel any resistance when it runs away from the rod tip, and that's exactly what we're fishing here. It's just a modified Lindy rig, and really the major modification is the strength of the line we're fishing. This is 80 pound line. Uh, we're using Suffix 832 main line, and we're just lopping off about a 15 inch chunk of that to tie from our hook to our barrel swivel, and that, that barrel swivel, probably about 15, 18 inches from the hook, that stops that sinker from sliding all the way down to the hook itself. Fishing a two or a three ounce no roll sinker and a two watt circle hook. Uh, and these circle hooks, it doesn't have a configuration of a hook point like most hooks. This hook is designed to slide out of the mouth and catch the lip as it starts to exit the fish's mouth. So you'll get that hook right here in the corner of the mouth just about every time. And that's really important. We don't want to deep hook the sturgeon. They live a long, long time. They uh, handle catch and release really, really well as long as you take good care of them. Okay, now when I talked earlier about the gob of crawlers, that's really all it is. I like to double hook my crawlers and I'll stack them. I'll do two, three crawlers on that hook. I want lots of wiggly ends uh, for that sturgeon to come across and feel as it's sucking up food off the bottom. So we're gonna get that baited back up and you can see it is a wiggly hot mess, but it's definitely something that if a sturgeon came across it, it's gonna wanna eat it. All right, time to put that back in the water. New for 2015, the release of the WX1910 from Skeeter Boats redefines the features and performance anglers can expect from a 19-foot boat, including the torque transfer system, making the hull on the WX1910 the strongest ever built, the React keel, enabling unparalleled boat control in tough conditions, and integrated jump seats for the ultimate in seating flexibility. Visit your local Skeeter Boats dealer and see for yourself why no other 19-foot boat offers more advanced features, storage, and performance than the WX1910.
Oh, that one, that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Not very big. Or at least he's taking it easy on me so far. Neil oh, run it at me, run it at me fast. Let me clear these lines, James. Um, let me just see. I don't think he's gonna be that big. Okay. Let's see what he does first. I'll leave those lines out because they're still fishing. If he comes up and he's uh, six feet long, then yes. <laughs> uh -oh. All right, there he's getting heavy. This is cool stuff. We were just talking about how we haven't had a uh, drag screaming run and that fish just buzzed it. Oh yeah, this is what we're here for. Good one. Much better than the last one. Yeah, that one was just kind of a little guy, wasn't it? You gotta start somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. And get out of your way here. They love going around the boat. Sometimes if they're really big, they like to go all the way around the boat and try to find the anchor rope. Oh. Honestly, I don't think he's all that giant. I want to see him first though, before I uh, make the true determination. But definitely bigger than that little chicken we caught the other uh, to start the day. This is why I love doing this. I mean, I love walleye fishing. I love the number of different ways you can catch them, number of different techniques. Sturgeon fishing is pretty straightforward. Takes you back to the basics, get some bait out there on the bottom, and wait for a sturgeon to find your bait. But they've got what a walleye doesn't have, which is incredible strength and power. We've got the musky gear here, fishing 80 pound suffix line, and I've got these drags just cranked, and these fish can still pull those drags out with ease. Hey, you catch a couple, two, three of these in a day? You know you've done something. The shoulders will feel it on the drive home. Like I said, I got the drag on these Dakotas just cinched. Kind of anxious. I have to not seen this fish yet. Anxious to see it. I don't know what, know what else to compare it to in freshwater. I've never caught a big paddlefish. You ever caught one of those out in the Missouri? Yeah, we snagged into a few. They, you don't see too many of them on walleye gear, though. You just no. know you're into one. Oh. I'm not saying I need to get out a fighting belt or anything, but uh, yeah, it's starting to get to my arms a little bit. And this is one of the reasons why this sport fishery has become so popular. Last 10 years, it's just exploded. There's more guys out here fishing sturgeon right now than there are walleye. I'm gonna swing her around if I can. <sighs> Made it. Oh, that's a, that's a good one. That's a, that's a good start right there. That's a legit fish. All right, you wanna take the rod? I will, sir. Oh, gotcha. All right, here we go. Oh. <laughs> what a fish. That's a lot of fish. Still not nearly as big as they get, but one heck of a fight. I'm trying to hold this fish here for the, for the camera and I can feel my arms are already tired. <laughs> Face only a mother could love. Andy, the next one is yours, sir. You got, we got one, Andy? Yep. <laughs> Andy's into a double. I better play the assist role. We'll get this one back. I don't think it's very Boof. Nicely nope. done. I don't think he's as big as yours, James. Well, we've got one but spinning rod out there, and we've both been kind of waiting, hoping that we'd be the guy that got to fight the first fish on the big spinning rod. You got the honors. We'll see here. I really didn't get a feel for how big that fish was until, until it got, it got close, to the, close to the boat. This one's getting there. Well, a nice double. Yeah, I think never hurts anything. It, it knows it's hooked right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> More of a walleye guy, so I don't get to do stuff like this very often. Variety is the spice of life, it sir. It is. I'm gonna try to get this one out of your way. I'll go under you. Yep, here we go. You're at a mechanical disadvantage, I think, uh, running that spinning rod, although I will say it's probably a little bit more fun. <laughs> it is, actually. I'm enjoying it. Now, I'll, I'm not going to say something like you rarely or never catch doubles fishing sturgeon, but... <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah, it doesn't happen all the time. Yeah, it's just a baby. If we can, up I'll in have the line. you uh, move down over here. Okay. Gotcha. Cool. That's a good starter fish right there. Give me a little line. 
Now these smaller ones, they can get pretty darn sharp. They've got these scoots and these are, you know, she's getting to be the size where they're starting to disappear, but you feel across her back. These things here can be incredibly sharp. Yeah, you would I not want to go the wrong way against no, that. I can feel that. Yeah, and that's what you feel when you feel that line popping as the fish runs almost, away from you. That's what you feel. It's a line catching on that as the fish runs away from you. Almost feels like a... It's bone, yes. but it's really sharp. Okay, you want to help unwrap me? She rolled up in it a couple times, so yep, there we go. she's lassoed. And... Those circle hooks every time, right where you want them. There it is. There you go. All right, I'll release it for you, unless you want to do it. Sure, I'll hold one. There you go. My first sturgeon, not a giant, but... It won't be your last, I it guarantee was, you uh, that. It was quite the, quite the battle. Looking forward to another one. Let her go here. There she goes. Cool. Woo! Nice. <laughs> sturgeon <Double>. slime. <laughs> Last week, giant walleyes, this week, big sturgeon. Hey, you remember when we were hanging out last night? You know, me, you, Gail. That's my girl. <laughs> you guys are awesome. And then you went to bed. I was tired. You were super tired. And then it was just me and Gail. Mm-hmm. Uh, alone. Ah! What? It's all in the pause. New Shadow Wrap from Rapala. Something going on with that one, James. That's fish, that's fish. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. I'm here for you. Start reeling, just go. Yes! Got him. This was a lot better than that last one I had, I guarantee you that. Oh yeah. Three fish. In a month. <laughs> How's the drag on that? Is it cinched pretty good? There you go. It is now. I'll get this one out of here. It feels a lot better than that last. What I want is I want to see one just absolutely sky. They jump sometimes. They'll come out of the water like a marlin. <laughs> Usually they do that when the water's warmer though. Yeah, I think it's pretty cold here, but I'm just shocked how hard they fight. Oh yeah. This is a good one. That's heavyweight musky gear there. That's not messing around kind of gear. Get this thing out of here. So we got Andy connected to this fish with. I've got uh, eight foot medium heavy musky gear. I'm fishing a Dakota. That's a Shimano trolling reel. And we've got 80 pound braid for a maiden line. Uh, we really don't want to make the mistake of <laughs> tying into these fish with walleye gear. Um, that happens. You'll be fishing for walleyes and the sturgeon will either grab your bait or you'll snag the sturgeon and you can spend an hour or more fighting the fish. We do not want to do that. That's not fair to the fish. It tires them needlessly. They release so much better this way. And then Andy has something that he can bellyache about later when his shoulders <laughs> and his uh, wrists are all wore out. <laughs> That's a good fish. Oh yeah. Although I thought that maybe the last one was bigger than what it was too, so. Well, what, what the people at home can't see is your, your, your line's going the wrong way. Yep, it's, go, it's leaving. <laughs> There's a lot of it going that way. Yep. Previously, when we've uh, done sturgeon shows or sturgeon fish just for fun, I've always used a big musky net. And I've got a friend, uh, he's behind the camera right now, that does a lot more sturgeon fishing than I do. And uh, he uh, told me, you gotta give the tail landing a try. Uh, he says it's a lot easier on the fish. It's actually pretty easy to do based on how I handled that 51. Now, I'm not quite sure yet how we're gonna handle a 65 should we run into something that big. But so far, that 51 came into the boat real easily. You got the, the hand on the tail, pulled it back into the boat, and it didn't get all wrapped up in the net, which made for a much quicker, easier release. Now it seems to be going back over the other side they, of the boat. They can never make up their mind. Well, the current's going that way, so very often by the time you actually get them almost wore out, you'll, you'll have them on this side of the boat, or you should, but we don't have a lot of current, so. You guys might as well take a nap. <laughs> I want you to push my limits with this whole tail landing thing. Well, we're about to find out. It's going back down again. Loosen the drag just a little bit. In case she goes. Woo! That's a big fish. That's a telephone pole with fins. <laughs> That's a good analogy. 
That's a big fish. <laughs> oh, what a fish. She's yeah. tailed. Oh, dude. That's a giant, man. That is... <laughs> That's by far the biggest fish I've ever caught. <sighs> Where's that player's at here? We'll get her. I will, however, be sitting down now. I'm gonna try to do that too. And I'm glad you're wearing rain gear because I'm gonna slide this thing. As soon as you get that hook out, I'm gonna slide this thing right across your lap and you can hold it. No, well, it wasn't going anywhere. No, those circle hooks, I mean, they don't <sighs> do any damage. They don't hurt them. And they're just always right in that outer lip, the outer part of the lip. Just like that. Well, are you ready? <sighs> All right. This is a strong fish. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Yes! <laughs> All right. You can just walk him over just to the side there. Slide her in there. Yep, hold on to her tail. Yep. By far, the, this is the biggest fish I've ever caught. She's ready to go. Thank you, Mama. That is a Mama. Woo! Put her there, man. Thank you. That was. You still got a pretty good handshake for a guy that just tangled with a big old sturgeon. Look at me, it looks like I just got caught in a thunderstorm. About the third most important thing in the boat on a sturgeon trip, right there. A slime rag. <laughs> exactly. Ugh. You gotta try this. Night crawlers, hooks, sinkers, and a big rod. It's all you need. You don't need a big <laughs> boat, and uh, you have to be willing to come out here and laugh, because you will. You're gonna hook into one of these big fish and you're gonna do just what Andy did, and that's belly laugh the entire time through because most guys never get to tie into a fish that fights like that. I'm still not done laughing. <laughs> get another one. All fishermen are created equal. Some just use better fishing line. Right there, right there, right there. Get him. Oh yeah. There he is. Oh, there's a pole bender. Oh yeah. This is the real deal here. There we go, come on fish. Whoa, just got very angry. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll be your tail guy <laughs> when the time comes. Are you up for it? I'm up for it. I'm going to give her a shot. I'll spend all summer long chasing bass and walleye and pike and all those other species I love to catch for a whole bunch of different reasons. And there's just a couple weeks every spring when these fish start coming up out of the lake here in the Rainy River where I can't get these things out of my head. Here she is. This is a big fish. Get over there and help you. <laughs> this is something special. Okay. We got her. Yep. Ah! <laughs> Woo! I'll take a seat. Here, let me hand you your you fish. You almost here. have to. Got her? Oh! Look at this prehistoric thing. <laughs> We're gonna have to measure this fish. I mean, this thing is a giant. Andy, would you do me the Where's favor that? of popping that hook out and those circle hooks? Every time. Every, right, in the, <laughs> right in the corner of the lip. Like that. They come out like nothing. Look at this thing, biggest fish of the day. The lightest bite by far. Just barely bluegill tapped it. If you'd grab that measure board, let's see what we can, uh, find out about this fish. A 55, 56 inch fish. Holy smokes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what a cool creature. <gasps> All right. Here we go, big mama. Back you go. Oh. All right. See you later, big mama. And down she goes. Oh. I feel like that scene in Ghostbusters. <laughs> You're <laughs> slimed. I've been slimed worth every bit of it because you can always launder this stuff. 
finding these fish, uh, these sturgeon down in Four Mile Bay, uh, is relatively easy. Um, what you're going to find is that these fish will relate to the deeper holes uh, that are all lined up in a row along the river channel, uh, where the rainy leads down through Four Mile Bay out into Lake of the Woods. And there's really not that many of these deep holes, probably about a half dozen of them. And uh, what we find is the sturgeon will either concentrate at the head of the hole or at the tail of the hole. So we just caught that last fish um, right at the tail end of a hole that bottoms out at about 32 feet. And what we're trying to do is get the boat positioned so we're upstream of where that hole starts to shallow up again. And what we're doing is we're placing these baits where that hole of 32 feet starts to come up to 28, 29 feet. And really the anchoring position is everything. If you're off by just a little bit and uh, you're not able to put the baits right where you want them, uh, say if you're too far forward in the hole and those baits are resting kind of in the center of the hole, we see far fewer bites. And it's really about getting that, that bait, that gob of crawlers, right at that just prominent place in these deeper holes, either where the hole comes down into the bottom of the hole or where it just starts to come back up. Pay attention when you're watching your fish finder. What you'll see is huge arcs concentrated in those two locations. Yeah, get it, get it, get it, get it. Definitely a fish, definitely a fish. This might be a little bigger than I thought it was, actually. Oh yeah? Oh, did you see that? Was that a good one? That was a beast. I'm glad we're taking turns because you have I don't to. think you can handle two in a row. No. There's some bubbles. Oh, She's here. that's a big. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Got her? You better believe it. I'm pumping myself up to lift this thing. Ready? Oh. <laughs> All right, buddy. <laughs> Slimed up again. <laughs> ah, it dries. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. That head is 10 inches across. I put it back. <sighs> well done, my friend. Let me feel the handshake. You still got some strength in it? A lot less than the first time you did that. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Well, the afternoon crowd starting to show up out here on Four Mile Bay, so I think it's time for Andy and I to split. Uh, we both got a, a long drive ahead of us. You've got to go back to South Dakota. Indeed. I'm heading back to the Twin Cities. So uh, we've had a great time out here today. And for anybody contemplating uh, the decision to come out here and give this a try, just do it. Get the boat out of storage, get some worms. Get some whooping sticks, it's all you need. You come out here and you wrestle with some dinosaurs. Uh, it is so much fun. I'll be grinning all the way home and I wanna thank you for making the trip over. That's no short ride. It is not, but I appreciate the, the opportunity and uh, to anyone that hasn't done this, you just have to try it. The first time for me and uh, I'll be doing it again, I promise you that. So. Big smiles all the way home. Absolutely. Andy, thanks for hanging appreciate out with it, me. Appreciate it, sir. Awesome. Stretching those biceps a little bit. Yeah, I might feel it tomorrow a little bit. When you go to the gym, you only have to work this arm tomorrow. Exactly. This one's good. <laughs> it right. is for a while. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. From Andy and I, we'll see you next week. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at In Depth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.